Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every week. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools for you right here. Before we get into uh, NFL action for this weekend, for games on Sunday, November the 11th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section and it has all the tools here that you need to make your picks. So let's take a look at some of the games as we have reached past the halfway point of the NFL season, and now every game becomes more and more important for playoff implications. Atlanta and Dallas, we're going to take a look at five of the games here. Buffalo and New York. The first game we want to really take a close look at is Cleveland and New England. Both teams enter play with a 5-4 and four record. Cleveland is averaged at the moment. You can see that they won their last game, three out of their last six, and New England is burning hot winners of four out of their last six and their last three games. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see that plus 20 for New England and plus 15 for Cleveland. The odds for this game are 1.8 for New England and 2 for Cleveland, as the Patriots are a 1.5 point home favorite, and the over-under is set at 45.5. If you're considering the over-under in this game, you see the Total predictions, you see that it is uh, right around the line, a little bit under for Cleveland, and right around the line, maybe slightly over for New England. In that scenario, I'll probably try to avoid betting the over and under. Let's take a look at the score prediction. The score prediction is New England 29, Cleveland 20, with a good, pretty good level of confidence and prediction of 75.7, almost 76%. I, too, am in agreement with that. I do like New England, and they will win and cover, and... I think actually that we're going to go with the over. You see if this prediction holds true, that it will go over the line by a few points. I also like the over. Detroit and Pittsburgh. Indianapolis and Jacksonville. Not going to take a look at that one. The next one we want to look at is the Saints and the Titans. You see the Titans are burning hot at the moment. Winners of their last five, they are 7-2 and two on the season. The Saints are average status at the moment. They lost their last game. They're four and two over their last six and they are five and three on the season. The Titans are a two and a half point home favorite with odds of one point six seven to two point one eight and the over under is set at a relatively low forty four point five. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see both teams are on an upward trend. Tennessee's at plus twenty eight. New Orleans was at plus thirteen a month ago and they are up to plus twenty two. The score prediction shows the Titans with a 31-16 victory, pretty good blowout margin, but, but the confidence of prediction is only 34%, so take a look at that as we get closer and closer to the game. If you're considering the over and under in this one, you can see that right here, under for New Orleans, and Tennessee is trending over the line. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, how consistent have they been, take a look at this. Neither team has been consistent at all with respect to their over-under, excuse me, not over-under, their favorite underdog status. Look at this, minus four for the Saints, minus five for the Titans, so take that with a grain of salt. If you want to see how the line has moved so far, take a look at the how the line has moved. Uh, this is for the Titans. You can see that it opened up with the Titans at 1.73. And it moved up and down a bit and, and has leveled out now and is now at 1.67. So slightly more in favor of the Titans than it was previously. So what we're going to do with this one, I really do believe that the Titans will continue to play very good football. They will win this game. I don't think it will be the big blowout like it's been predicted, but they will win cover. But I would avoid betting the over-under. Tampa Bay, Washington. Carolina, Arizona, a bunch of good games. We're going to take a look at the next game is Minnesota and the Chargers. The Chargers come into play with a 5-3 and three record. You can see their average up at the moment. They are coming off of a win and 4-2 and two over the last six. The Vikings are 5-3, and three, or excuse me, they are 3-5. and five. They haven't lost their last two games. They are 3-3 three and three over the last six, and they're average down at the moment. The Chargers are 2.5 point home favorite with odds of 1.67 to 2.18, and the over-under is set at 52.5. Taking a look at the power ranking indicator, notice the trend here that the Chargers are on a downward trend, even though they did come off a win against Philadelphia, that they are at plus 18. 
and Minnesota is at plus 11 at the moment. The score prediction has the Chargers in a 40 to 27 shootout with 76% level of confidence. That would get, go way over the line set at 52.5. Let's take a look at the totals predictor to see what that is showing. That is showing the Vikings trending in games over the line, Chargers trending in games under the line. Generally, in, in that scenario, I would avoid the over and under, and I probably would the same. I do like the Chargers here. Um, let's take a look at the money line, see how that has moved, if it has at all. You can see it has moved quite a bit. It started at 1.73 for the Chargers and is now up to 1.67. So it's even more in favor of the Chargers now than it was before. I do like the Chargers to win. I do like the Chargers to cover, but I do not want to bet the over and under. Philadelphia and Denver. Seattle and Green Bay. Another good game. Kansas City and the Raiders. We want to take a look at this one, too. This is a classic NFC West battle. The Chiefs come into play with a 5-4 and four record. They are winners of their last two. And they are 4-2 and two over their last six. The Raiders are coming off of a loss. And they are 3-3 three and three over their last six. And they are averaged down. The Chiefs are a road favorite of, by 2.5 points with the odds of 1.67 to 2.18. And the over-under is at 51.5. If you look at the score prediction, Chiefs 32, the Raiders 18. Two touchdown prediction with a confidence in prediction of 67%. That's a pretty high level of confidence for a blowout win for the Chiefs. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. See the totals predictor has the Chiefs slightly over the line. The Raiders over the line. It's a very good indication then to bet the over. This should be a high scoring game. The power ranking indicator shows that the Chiefs are at plus 17. The Raiders are on an upward trend at plus 26. Disregard that. I do really like the Chiefs to come away with this one. Let's take a look at the, the line though first. If you look at the line here, it started out, look at this, it started out 1.549. It's now at 1.671. There's been quite a bit of movement along the line, but I do like the Chiefs to win in this one, covering and betting the over. The last game we want to look at is the Rams and the 49ers. In the NFC West battle here, the 49ers coming in with dead stats. They've lost five out of their last six. They are three and five on the season. The Rams are coming off of a loss also, but they are four and two over their last six, and they have average status. You see that the Rams are a pretty heavy road favorite at 4.5 points, with odds of 1.48 to 2.612, and the over-under is at 48.5. The score prediction is in line with the Rams being a heavy fair. Look at this, 40 to 18, and a real blowout win. Confidence of prediction is 52%. The power ranking indicator shows, again, that the Rams are clearly the better team at the moment at plus 29 on an upward trend. The 49ers are at plus 12. Let's see what the score prediction shows for the over and under. The score, or the, excuse me, the totals predictor shows the Rams here trending in games over the line. The 49ers also trending in games over the line. This is a great chance to win some money betting the over. I would do that in a heartbeat. I will take a look at the money line at the moment to see how that has switched, if at all. It opened here. This is the Rams at 1.641. Stayed stable. Went up a little bit and is now currently at 1.48. So even more in favor of the Rams. I do like the Rams to win. I do like the Rams to cover. And... I think it will be a high-scoring game going the over. So there you have it. Those are the games we want to take a look at for this week in the NFL. Happy betting. Enjoy the games. And we will see you next time.